Hello and welcome to Architizi. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can model this roof like it's done on the Hunter's Retreat house. That's the concept designed by Wade Haugen Architects from Oslo. I have to say that I'm not sponsoring them, I just really like uh, their architecture and their approach. Therefore I found this example as a very useful where I can show you such a basic principles in Revit how you can actually create this and make on a very simple way. In that purpose I'm going to use Revit 2024 with a new multidisciplinary metric template so let's just go there and i hope that you are going to enjoy before i start with modeling i have to as usual try to break down this geometry and to determine how the roof is made so in this case we see that this roof was made of the eight polygons and we have some cut inside as well so we have eight polygons outside and inside so in Revit I'm going to use a roof tool, we'll place this roof at the level 1 and then we'll take this polygon, we'll put 8 sides here, you're putting sides here, you see, and then let's make this as a, I don't know, 8 meters and I have to place one more inside and I will make this as a 4 meters, so it's up to you, you can put any sizes, the principle is the same. Let's select all the lines and make them to have no slope on them and the same for this one and just click OK. In 3D we'll just turn off annotation categories for the better overview and you see how our roof look like. So let me just show you what I'm going to do first. So you, I would like you to see something. You can make it this way but it's not the most precise way. So first I'm going to make to actually pl uh, place those split lines. I will just place them on a three sides here so you get a clue of what I'm doing. And then if I go to the modify elements and if we go actually to the picture, we see that this top part of the roof is sticking out. So let's say that we, I made it at the middle because you know this is the flat part and then this one here so I made those lines just because I would like they to to be uh, raised up so if I select this one and place it at three meters and I do the same let's say for this one then I have to rise up this point but I don't know where exactly will be this line and as you could see there is one problem it makes our side of the roof uh, as a triangulated which directly implicates that the slope here and slope there are not the same so in order to avoid this i have to use an old uh, modeling technique <laughs> the proven way it's like the old-fashioned way if i can say like that so firstly i'm going to reset this and then I'm going to use the line, the model line tool, LI is a shortcut, uh, for the placement we'll pick uh, north-south and I'm going to make it from top to here and then let me just make it at the middle so I can just uh, trim this, I need this, uh, this center point. I can actually make this line here as well so now I can trim it I was I was drawing this at the top and I will take again line and we'll go let's say four meters at a height and then we'll draw the line parallel with with level one So I'm just kind of creating the wireframe form. And then when this is created, I have to make one more thing and that's the reference plane over here. So it goes from here to here and the name, let's say it will be O1. So now if I take line again and I take it to the reference plane O1 and go from this point here to the top here, it means that 
our line from this point to the intersection here will determine the point we had a problem before. So let me just again create on this roof split lines. It's done. And now I'm going to modify elements and I'm simply going to drag this one up to here. And I can do the same with this one. And then I'm going to take this point and I'm just going to go up to here. And then you see that our slope has no triangulation, that it's completely continuous slope, the same to the whole surface. And what I have to do right now is just to do the same to all the other edges and the points. Mm -hmm. It's a problem here. So here it comes. When it's done, you can just select one of those lines select all instances in the entire project and delete them and you see that the roof seems fine if you just look at the pictures we see that we have some walls under the roof and let me just explain you how you can make those walls uh, as well it's quite simple so i will go to the level one and we'll take walls uh, what i have to do actually what i would like to do is to make the finish face at the exterior we'll take the same uh, 8 size polygon and then I can go and make I don't know 7 meters and then the other one I can make 4 and a half meters maybe so you see how they look like what I can do I can just maybe delete some of them like make maybe make it something like this let's go to level one and then i'm just going to take uh, them here we'll trim and we'll do the same thing at this side and then just repeat process to the other parts So, when you're done with this, you can just hover the mouse over one of the walls, click tab button, select all of them, and then go attach to base and select the roof. And you see how they are going to match perfectly to the roofs and do the same for the other two walls. And you see that our hunter house looks pretty nice. It's modeled very clearly and nicely. And I really hope that uh, this uh, modeling techniques is going to help you to develop your concepts and to level up your Revit workflow and take this in your projects as well. Thank you very much for watching. If you would like to support us, just like this video, subscribe to our channel and share our content.